Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to bring you another yoga workout today. These are one of my favorite videos to film and one of my favorite ways of building strength as well. There's no crazy jumping around or cardio, it's just slow and controlled movements where we connect our body to our breath. So without further ado, grab some water, grab your mat and let's get started. Okay guys, we're gonna start at the end of our mats in our thunderbolt pose. Just allowing the hands to rest on the tops of the thighs, allowing the eyes to float closed. Just take a moment to return the mind to the breath. And take a moment to allow your body to arrive on your mat. And as you just focus on the breath, any worries or stresses from the past or the future, they begin to melt away the mind comes to the present moment, as the mind comes to that place of peace, just finding a couple more breaths here. And a gentle stretch for the side body release, the right fingertips to the right side, and then reach that left arm up and over. Maybe you can start to bend into the right elbow. Draw the gaze up, making sure that left shoulder is pulled back. And just keep sending those deep breaths through the side of the body. And keeping the core tight, inhale as you come back to center, left hand comes to the right side of the head. Draw that left ear to the left shoulder. Maybe walking those right fingertips a little further away. left hand to the left side of the body, inhale, right arm comes up and over, find that side stretch. Engaging the core, inhale, come all the way back to center, right hand, left side of the head, draw the right edge to the right shoulder, walk those left fingertips away. Fingertips either side of the knees to the toes of the knees. Feet hips distance apart as you roll up and find your rag doll here. You can keep a nice deep bend into the knees, especially if this is your first movement of the day. Just take it nice and gentle, softening from the base of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head. Just allowing everything to soften. the hands on the shins or fingertips on the floor. Inhale halfway, just lengthen through the spine. So flat back, opening the chest, and just pause it here. Take a couple of breaths. Keep drawing the belly towards the thighs, opening the chest. And then walking the hands out, shoulders coming over the wrists, high plank. Nice and strong here, inhale. Exhale, keep the hands and feet where they are and just press the hips back and up. Finding downward facing dog. Inhale, float shoulders back over the wrists. High plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Two more. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. And you can make this down dog a little bit deep. You can walk this down dog out. Just making any movements here that you feel like your body needs. And then finding some stillness in that downward facing dog. Planting through the left palm and through both feet. We're gonna draw the right arm back along the side of the body and just spread the fingers. And just take a few deep breaths here. It's time to strengthen that left shoulder, that left arm. If you want to take it one step further, then drawing the left leg back, flex the foot, embrace any wobbling, 
let's hold it here for three breaths. Okay, coming back to down facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, three legged dog. Exhale, step the hips, drop the right heel down to the left glute. Good. Three times, we're going to bring the knee to the elbow and down to the wrist. So as we exhale, flow back into that high plank, bring the right knee with you. Go tap the elbow, draw it down to the wrist but don't touch the floor. Draw it back up to the elbow and then exhale, press all the way back, stack the hips again. Exhale, knee to elbow, down to the wrist, up to the elbow, all the way back, step the hips. Last one, knee to the elbow, down to the wrist, up to the elbow, and send it all the way back, step the hips. This time, fall and star. So we're gonna draw that right leg underneath the body, underneath that left leg. And see if that left arm can lift. And see if you can keep that right leg lifted high. Good, we're holding it here. Pressing the hips up, we're lifting up that right leg for a count of 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep it lifted for five, holding it still, four, three, two, one, slow and with control, come back to plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest, good, big exhale, into your downward facing dog, finding some stillness in that downward facing dog, Sigh it all out here if you need to. This time the left arm draws back along the side of the body, spread the fingers. Maybe you're just holding here, maybe you're drawing back the right leg, flexing the right foot, and finding that balance with three breaths. Releasing back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step the hips. Drop the left heel to the right glute. Three times, drawing the knee to the elbow, then down to the wrist. Exhale, tap the elbow. Take it down to the wrist. Up to the elbow. And then step the hips. And exhale, knee to elbow. Down to the wrist, up to the elbow, send it all the way back, step the hips. Then last time, draw left knee to the left elbow, down to the wrist, up to the elbow, press all the way back, step the hips. This time, fall and star. So as we come into that plank, send the left leg underneath the right leg, right arm lifts. Keep this left leg lifted. Good, we're lifting it up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Keep it lifted, hold for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, slow and with control, come back to that plank. Good, exhale for your chaturanga. Inhale, up and facing. Exhale, down facing dog. Well done, let's give those arms a rest. We're gonna work those legs a little bit. Send the gaze to the hands, step the right foot forward. Left toes stay tucked underneath, inhale as we rise up to our high lunge. Hips are facing the short side of the mat, left toes tucked underneath. Interlacing the fingers behind the back. Roll the shoulders back and down, open the chest. Back leg is straight. Exhale as we hover the left knee off the mat. Good, for three, two, one. Inhale as we extend the back leg, keep the front knee bent. Exhale, draw belly to the thigh. Lift the arms up and off the back. 
and inhale, rise up. Exhale, hover the knee off the mat for three, two, one. Go straighten up that back leg. Exhale, fold forward. See if the arms can lift with you for three, two, and one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hover the knee for three, two, and one, straight. Now that back leg, this time as we come forward, don't lean onto the thigh. We're finding arrowhead lunge. So extend the arms forward, spread the fingers, and stay lifted out of the hip crease. Draw the hands to the heart center as you float that back leg off the mat, warrior three. Good, step the left foot back, extend the arms forward, that's one. Good, draw the hands to the heart center, extend the legs, warrior three. Step back with the left toes, extend the arms. Good, that's two. Last one, draw the hands to the heart center, float forward, warrior three, we're holding, trying to straighten out that standing leg a little bit more, five, four, brace the wobble, three, two, one, step back with the left toes, extend the arms, they lifted out the hip crease to lift the belly a little bit higher off the thigh for five, four, three, two, one, hands come down, this time we're taking the right leg on top of the left leg, side plank, on the left hand, inhale, right arm comes up and over, exhale to the side of the body, inhale, exhale, use the breath, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, Holding here, see if that top leg can lift for five, four, three, two, one, slow and with control, plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, down facing dog, well done, send the gaze to the hands, left foot steps forward, inhale, rise up, high lunge, left leg, Hips face forward, right toes tuck underneath. Good, finding that balance, then interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale to roll the shoulders back and down, open the chest. Exhale, hover the right knee off the mat for three, two, and one. Extend the back leg, exhale, fall forward. Let the arms come with you for three, two, one. Inhale to lift. Exhale to hover for three, two, one. Extend the back leg, exhale to fold for three, two, and one. Inhale to lift last time. Exhale, bend in that back knee, hovering for three, two, and one. Exhale this time as we come forward, extending the arms in line with the ears. We're finding that arrow lunge. We're holding it strong here, spread through the fingertips. Then draw the hands into the heart center, push forward. Worry three, left side. Good. Set back with the right toes, extend the arms back into that arrow lunge for three, two, one. Good, push forward, back to that warrior three. Hold it, three, two, one. Last time, step back into that arrow lunge. Good, flow forward, holding that warrior three a little bit longer. Good, five, four, three, two, one, step back, extend, hold it, five, four, lift a bit higher up the hip crease, three, two, and one, hands down, side plank on the right side, inhale, good, flow the arm up and over, exhale to the side of the body. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, sweep the arm up and over, see if that top leg can lift for five, four, three, two, one, slow and with control, fine plank, exhale to chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, down facing dog. Uh, just taking a couple of breaths here. We're going to start to widen the feet, so bringing them to the edges of the mat. Finding a nice 
wide leg down facing dog. Good. Keep pressing the chest forward, sinking the heels down to the mat. Walking the hands in as you turn the toes out to the side, we're going to sit down into a yogi squat. Draw the thumbs to the heart center and gently press those elbows into the insides of the knees. Good. Inhale. We're going to see if we can lift the heels off the mat. Let's come round to the tippy toes whilst dropping the hips down. Good. Either holding here or extend the arms up in line with the ears. We're holding for five, four, keep lifting those heels, three, two, one. Heels come down, hands come down, toes turn in as we walk all the way out. Staying in that wide stance, we're hovering our chaturanga halfway off the mat. Exhale, we're holding for five, four, three, two, one. Press back to that plank. Exhale, back to that wide leg down, facing dog. And then start to walk those hands in, turn the toes out, sinking all the way back into our yogi squat. We're going again, heels lift, inhale. Arms lift, and hold it for five. Four, try and drop those hips a little bit lower, lift the arms a little bit higher. Three, two, and one. Heels drop, hands come down, turn the toes in, walk back out to that plank. Knees down or lifted, exhale to hover, holding five, four, three, two, one, press back up, exhale to that wide leg down facing dog, last time, walk the hands in, and turn the toes out, Good. finding that stillness, finding the breath, this time we're lifting back onto the toes, see if you can lift those heels up, a little bit higher, drop the hips a little bit lower, and let's extend the arms. Good, we're holding strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Heels down, toes in, walk out to that plank. Good, last time, let's hover off the mat to the elbows to the sides of the body and hold for five, four, three, two, one, press all the way up. Exhale into that wide leg down facing dog. And this time maybe walk the hands in a little bit closer. We're finding a twist. So sweep that right hand to the outside of the left leg. Bending into the elbow, draw the body underneath that left arm. Good, allow the gaze to be high. And just find three breaths here. Perfect, switching sides, left hand, right leg. Let the gaze be high. Three breaths. And then releasing back to that wide leg down dog, drop the knees to the edges of the mat. Turn the big toes in. And sink all the way down into your relaxed child's pose. Keep a nice bend into the elbows. Let the forehead relax. And just find the flow of breath coming in and out of the abdomen. And just take a moment here to allow the mind to think of nothing but the body and the breath. started. Thunderbolt pose. This time draw the palms to the heart centre. Let the eyes float closed. And I just want you to take a moment to find gratitude for yourself for arriving on your mat. Letting go of whatever did or didn't happen during this little practice. To know that you have benefited not just the body but also the mind. Send that gratitude to yourself and then bow your head in gratitude for this life, for the next. Namaste.